Hiya, are you alright? Welcome to Nick's Kitchen. I've been asked to make minestrone soup quite a lot, so that's what I'm going to do. I've just been to the shop twice because I kept forgetting the ingredients because the kitchen sink goes in this, there's all kinds in it. You can't do it wrong, use what you've got, use pa any pasta really, any beans, but here's the basics. Olive oil in a pan, chopped onion, I've used a red one, doesn't matter. Two sticks of celery, a sprinkle of salt to help it break down. Fry those for about five minutes. Snip in 150 grams of smoked streaky bacon or pancetta. It should have went in before, but I forgot it. Chorizo would be good as well, or chorizo, however you want to say it. There's always some linguist on the chat telling us how to speak. Now, just fry it down. Grate in two cloves of garlic and a tablespoon of tomato puree. Fry that off for a couple of minutes. Put in a tablespoon of paprika, whether it's smoked, hot, sweet, doesn't matter. Oh, a bit much there, doesn't matter. In it goes. This gives it its gorgeous red colour. Fry this for a minute. It's like a really red, gorgeous, sweet, slightly spicy paste. Go in with your vegetables. I've got a large courgette that I've chopped, quite small, a carrot and one red pepper. In there go. With some chicken stock, it's stock not beer. You can use stock pot or a stock cube. This is 500 mils of chicken stock. In that goes. Put in a bay leaf. A tablespoon of oregano. My favourite herb. A tin of plum tomatoes. And a tin of water. Bring that to a simmer. Let it bubble away for 10 minutes. Smells glorious now. Just break those tomatoes up. I've got some really tiny pasta shells to go in, do you see? I mean, if you can't get these, it doesn't matter. And if you've only got spaghetti in the cupboard, just snap it up. Because sometimes you get minestrone with like bits of spaghetti in, don't you? This is a 250 gram bag. I'm going to put half of it in. I've drained a can of butter beans. Let it simmer for another 10 minutes. The pasta will absorb some of that liquid. So if it's getting too thick, add some hot water. Gorgeous. Give it a taste. Don't burn your tongue. That's gorgeous, but it just needs a little bit more depth. So I'm just going in with a chicken stock pot because we've added more water. Just stir that through. We're going in with a handful of Parmesan cheese, 20 to 30 grams. The Parmesan gives the soup a lovely seasoning. Stir it through. Let's dish up. How absolutely delicious does that look? A gorgeous big pan of minestrone soup and crusty bread with butter. Let's give it a try. I've put it on a board to try and tip it up a little bit for you, but I don't want to tip it out of the out of the bowl. But you just know, I mean, look at it. The colours are gorgeous. You know it's good for you. And the smell of it is amazing. Mm. It's just, you wouldn't think vegetables could be so tasty. That's hot. I mean, that's better than any minestrone soup I've ever had out of a tin. In fact, that I've ever had, I think. That is gorgeous. I've surprised myself beautiful a little bit of chili would be nice in there too if you wanted a 
nice bit of crusty bread. It's going to fill you up. Use whatever beans you've got, cannellini beans, kidney beans. I just happen to have butter beans. Mixed beans, that would be good. It's hot again. I'm going to get a drink of water. I'm too greedy for my own good. I just can't wait, can I? But this is lovely. It'll freeze really well. Give it a go. I think I sometimes forget that you're here and I just carry on eating. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like and share, follow for more. I really appreciate you being here. Have a fabulous weekend because it's Friday. Have a good one. See you soon. Give this a go because it's gorgeous. Bye bye.